How are you? I'm good. Hi. Good. It's good to finally see you and speak yeah. to you. <laughs> Rebecca, you know, I love your nose ring. Thank you. There's something about it. I absolutely love it. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm doing great. Great, great. Good. Good. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. You're welcome. So, I don't know what the situation is in Nigeria. I know that there's been a, a global quarantine and people are self oh global self isolation and um, people are quarantining. What's the situation like in Nigeria? Mm, it's it's bad, but not as bad as you think. Actually, um, there's free movement, but there's a curfew for you. So everyone goes out by six a.m. and from six a.m. to eight p.m. and then stay home once it's eight p.m. Okay. Okay, so cool. how are you finding it? What's been the most difficult part of it for you? The fact that I can't stay out, I can't keep late nights, I can't have fun with friends, go to the studio and record freely without having a mask on, and yeah. all that, hugging my crush. Oh, you've got yeah, a crush? You know, <laughs> I've got crushes. Oh, wow. Well, that's good to hear. Maybe yeah. you can <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rebecca, let's talk about the music. How long okay. were you doing music for before you became a professional artist? Like people started noticing you, celebrities started um, doing TikToks, um, or put your put your finger down. Okay. Okay, so basically I started singing at age three, normal poems and all that, but I was good at it that time, like that time I was very little, but I was always representing the children department then. And then I faced my first crowd, but it was in church. Okay. And that was at age six and I did very well. And then um, at 16, I officially took music very serious. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So put the finger down is one of, that video went viral. Yeah, I know. I'm dropping the audio very soon. Really? When? When yeah. can you be? Um, very soon. It could be this week. It could be next week. But within from now till next week. Okay, wonderful. We look forward to it. It's a shame you can't record a video for it or anything. Do you have plans to maybe after all of this has ended? Yeah, yeah. We have plans. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. I got you. I've got plans, baby. <laughs> you data. You just keep updating. <laughs> okay. So I think. Corona by no means is a right, but since this pandemic, people have been presented with more opportunities to do stuff online. You see, put a yeah. finger down, your finger down. Was it something you were working on before coronavirus came about? No, it was just a freestyle that I was doing on this same spot. I was yeah. disturbing my mom, she was sleeping, and then I was like, ah, I can't just be home useless and all that and all that. So I, I, I played a beat, I went online, I searched for a beat, I got the beat, and then I played, my producer sent me the beat, I played, and yeah, it made sense, because I, I, I thought of it, I was like, ah, what if I do, like, what if I, I use, put a finger down to do something creative, because no one has actually done the music version of it. So okay. I was like, okay, let me just try it. And then I did it. It came naturally, though, and it worked. And it's incredible. I thought it may have been inspired by the Put Your Finger Down TikTok challenge. Have you heard of it? No, that? no, it wasn't. It wasn't, actually. I never even thought about the TikTok challenge. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, Bamco is saying that you should teach me how to speak Yoruba. <laughs> hey, should I teach you? That was awesome. Okay. Maybe after, if, towards the end of um, the interview. Ah, if I teach you, you will yeah. run, more. you will run, you yeah. mm. <laughs> You know, I've seen the split screen um, songs you've done with Shawn Mendes, Anne-Marie, um, Rita yeah. Ora. And the music industry, like you know, is very competitive. Yeah. Those videos have gone viral. People are absolutely loving you and your sound. But when it mm -hmm. comes to competitiveness, I've realized that girls are always, a lot of girls, a lot of female artists are always trying to outdo each other and compete with each other. Is that something you've ever experienced? Uh, the truth is, let me, let me, let me put it this way. Please First do. off, I've, I've got a lot of people that wants to, that wants to show me that they can do better than me, but 
I don't care because I feel like the sky is enough for everyone to fly. There is oh. a space for me. There is a space for you. So I don't see reasons for competitions. Just admit it that I am better and admit it that you are better too. Because you're a queen in your world and I'm a queen in my world. So there's no need to, to compete. Why? Why? Why you want to do that? Thank you so much. You know what? That, what you just said, is something I've been trying to promote for so long. The world is big enough for everyone to succeed. I don't understand yeah, no. why you're so competitive, you know? Exactly. You are incredible. As official Mr. Hero said, you don't have competition. You are lit on your own. And I agree. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. How many songs have you released today? Um, okay. Officially, I have released, um, let's say this year, just this year. Okay. I've How released. Many you've got? So you've got Give Me Vibe, you've got Put a Finger Down, which you haven't released the audio for. Um, for... Yes, for Put a Finger Down, but. But after I release that, it will be just those two songs for this year. And then let's okay. see how it goes. Wonderful. Okay, we're looking forward to more music from you, of course. Sure. It inspires you to continue singing and writing. Because I know a lot of people can get demotivated. So different yeah. things by different people. What keeps you going? What did you say? I didn't get that, sorry. What keeps you going? What inspires ah. you to keep making music? I don't know. I think it's my dad actually because man really? I yeah, because my dad is like the best singer in my family though. Yeah. Like I'm the I'm the worst in my family. I'm the worst. If you want to think about the worst singer, everyone in my family they sing. I'm the worst. And I'm the last child. Everyone in your family can sing. Yeah, everyone in my family. We had a group, we had a group before that was very known in my church then. And my daddy is still good to date. So like my daddy inspires me because the rest of my siblings, he won't, He actually has been praying for God to, to at least pick one of his child to to take the music thing serious. But you know all these first born, second born, third born, they like to go into this banking doctor. They stay. This. For me, I'm just a very crazy, disorganized human being that loves to do a thing. And I I was actually wishing that I could live live my dad's dream too alongside mine so i thought of doing music i actually wanted to become a lawyer but i don't think that thing is going to fade my personality do you guys so i not switch to music yeah so you push that aside do you think you will ever take it up maybe later on in life i say it's me and music we die yet see this see this, <laughs> see this life i shook myself with this if it's not music i don't want to do anything now do you guys but later i could have like a clothing line because i love outfits a lot I love dub outfits. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I've noticed you have really good style as well. I've seen all the pictures on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. To you, Rebecca, what is more important when it comes to music? To entertain your fans or to communicate a message, whatever is your feeling, whatever your experiences are? Um, I think it goes on both sides because... Okay. I cannot just be singing and expecting that I entertain only myself. If I'm, if that is what makes me an entertainer, if I cannot sing to make you, to put you in a particular mood, then yeah, do you understand? So it is, it is to express myself and talk about things, talk about reality, talk about love. I mean, love, love person. They have even broken my heart plenty of times, but don't worry, let's shift it. So now, I have to now, I have to now do, do you guys, so, it, it goes in both ways. I I do music because I want to entertain people. And I also have the passion and the love for it. And my lyrics yeah. has to be 100. Like, you must know what I'm singing about. I cannot just come and be humming. Hum, hum, hum. You're not bad. Of, of course. Of course not. Okay. Yeah. You know what? You seem really genuine. And you seem like yourself, the way you speak, when you when you do your videos, when you record your videos, everything about you is really natural and really genuine and very true to yourself, right? And I yeah. don't see that. You remind me of Tenny, the entertainer. Oh. How genuine, no, not in looks, not in sound, right? Oh, thank you, but thank you. It's herself. You're two completely different people. But yeah. what I've noticed 
her and what I've noticed about you is you're not afraid to be yourself. You're not afraid to just go into the studio. You don't always see the need to be glam. You, you just come as yourself. Natural yeah. beauty is great to see, right? Yeah. But if you were offered a contract by a really big label, right, would you be willing to change all of that? Would you be, if they gave you like um, a contract and they said, look, we need to rebrand you. We need you to look a certain way. We need you to wear certain clothes or always have your hair in a certain style. Would you be willing to change that for the sake of the label? And further as far your as it's going to make me blue. And as far as everybody will love me for that posing, I will do it. The guys. As far as it is, it is going to improve my brand and not. Oh really? Do you understand? I would do it definitely. Why? Sure. The reason I ask is because some people are against it. They would rather remain true to themselves and do what they have to do instead of having to follow the rules of a label. Change is actually constant. You cannot say that. See, eh? let me. Can yeah. I say something? Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So basically. Uh, there's this thing I believe in. Change is constant. We grow every day. You know, you know, you're not you're not with those set of friends that you were with like four, five years ago. And Absolutely. if they see you now, they would think you are proud. But it's not that you are proud. It's just because there like there are reasons for that. Like you just have to be in this position to get to the next position. Do you understand? So like I do, yeah. basically, I need to like I cannot be like this forever. I cannot stay like this, looking like a ragamuffin like this. No. no fine the thing is what you may not realize is that you coming as yourself inspires so many people they don't see the need to be fake they know that they at can all, come man, at all and succeed so you being you is a beautiful thing especially i can still i can still be i can still be a different brand looking all sexy sassy cute and hot and still be myself of course you understand? yeah so i don't necessarily have to act according to how i look like for example I'm looking yeah. all sassy and crazy, and I'll be like, hey, hi, what's up? Don't talk to me. Nah, I don't do that. <laughs> you are definitely yourself. You're a character. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you're a talented girl, and I agree. Um, Thank you. Benga says, Rebecca, more wins. Amen. Thank you. Oh. Rebecca, if I mention the names of people like, I mean, I would call them legends, like Aretha Franklin, the late Whitney Houston. Um, we would call them legends, right? Yeah. I think it takes to become a legend. Okay. Um Okay. This question is a very distinct question. Why we ask you? I want to pick my microphone so you will understand me better. Please do. Now. Now this is it. If you want to be a legend, you need to do what you do for the love of what you do. Okay. Do you understand? In the sense that as I am now, I need to register my sound in people's ears. Mm. I need to lay a legacy. I need, I, I want, I want to be the kind of person that if I'm no more like this, people will be singing my song that, ah, oh, Rebecca, you're a legend. I need to drop evergreen songs, evergreen. With the Houston songs, if you still play them till date, oh, yeah. till date, you will still feel it because she has evergreen sounds. Her mm. sounds, you cannot change her sound. Mike, one, two, one, two. Okay, yeah. It's you cannot working. change. It's working, trust me. It's Do you understand? You cannot change her sound because, one, she has everything it takes. She registered yeah. her voice. Even to date, if you hear Whitney Houston's voice in your dream, you will know she's the one. Mm. Do you understand? So I yeah. want to register my sound into people's ears, in their yeah. head, anywhere they go. Ah, that's Rebecca God. She makes me cry. I want my voice to put you in a particular mood if i can give you a mood board with my sound i'm a legend but yeah, i was yeah. able to create a mood board that is the reason why there is afro now i want to create my kind of song so that when 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 i'm not there you you ease me now i cannot just uh, i but, cannot just go now you just miss me one time and it ends there i i want my legacy to live on that's a fantastic answer thank you for that what yeah, let me keep the mic.